Good day, my name is Chris Swart and I'm a Procon Technical Support Consultant. Today we will have a look at punching shear design. The punching shear design module designs reinforced concrete slabs for punching shear around edge, corner and internal columns. The program does not consider the following. Reduction in shear force due to uniform distributed load inside shear parameters. Effects of pre-stressing. The program considers reinforced concrete slabs only. You can use Captain to design pre-stressed concrete slab for punching shear. Shear enhancement effect of column heads. The program does not have the automated capability for designing slabs with column heads. In some cases you can model a column head using two separate designs. It does not consider opening in slabs, nor reinforcement other than stirrups or bend up bars. The help menu includes examples that illustrate the input of typical slab and column geometry, material properties and design loads. Let's have a look at the standard example. Entering the slab geometry and design loading is reasonably straightforward when you consider a list of symbols. Press F1, the help file will open, click on Theory and Applications, List of Symbols. A few input parameters deserve additional explanation. Geometry and Materials Input The program considers the first four shear parameters on fly as you adjust the values for X and Y. It minimizes the length of shear parameters at all times, allowing it to round around the column or shoot out to the slab edge as necessary. Depending on whether a shear parameter fully encloses a column, the column is considered to be an internal edge or corner column. Column heads. The program does not allow for direct input of column heads. However, if you need to design a slab with a column head, you can work around this limitation by performing two designs as follows. First design. Enter an effective slab depth that corresponds to the effective depth including the column head and check the design result for those shear parameters that lie inside the perimeter of the column head. Second design. Set a slab effective depth to that of the slab only to correspond with the dimensions of the column head and check the design results of all shear parameters. Main slab reinforcement. The reinforcement values ASX and ASY represent the amount of reinforcement crossing each perimeter and lying parallel to the X and Y axis respectively. You can enter main reinforcement in a number of formats. Reinforcement area for example 2100 mm per square, number of bars and diameters for example 6y16, bar diameters and spacing. The program will calculate the amount based on the shear perimeter dimensions example y16 is at 200. Design load input. Enter one or more load cases comprising of the shear force and bending moment transferred between slab and column. Note that earlier versions of the program considered MTX and MTY to be the moment in the X and Y directions respectively. This convention was later changed to be the moments about the X and Y axis, so as to correspond with the convention used in frame analysis. Adjustment of design moments for pattern loading. The program assumes that you have determined the ultimate design load using pattern loading. For this reason and based on clause 3.7.6.3 of BS8110, it reduces the values enter for MTX and MTY by 30%. Note if the method you used to determine the ultimate design moment did not incorporate pattern loading, you should increase your moment input value by 30% to ensure a correct design. Design When you open the design or the detailed equation tab, the program performs the punching shear design. The detailed calculations tab provides an, an alternative view of the design output, where the design tab shows a graphical and tabular summary of the design check. The detailed calculation tab displays the step-by-step -step design calculation. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates. And visit our website at www.procon.com.